<laughs> Hi guys, I hope you have a wonderful day out there. Today we're going to play a game on a website called babadoom.com, I think it is. And uh, you can learn stuff on a lot of games and websites, of course. I thought we should start off with Swedish, because I know Swedish and you know it's going to be a good learning curve here. But then I might go into another language just to high up the stakes or whatever. So we're presented with four options here, uh, as you can see, and then a text here in the middle. And that's up to us to guess what this is. So the text says Canada. It's kind of obvious, I think. It's not a motorcycle, but oh, sorry. Oh, Lignol. Frick. Ah, my mouse misclicked there, sorry. Okay, and the next word. En Lignol. What does that mean? Is that Holland? <laughs> no, is it ten? No, it's, that's to you. And that's a veterinarian. It's a ruler. Lignol. En means a. Uh, the uh, ruler. Yes. I'm a rule, by the way. It's good things. Thumbs. Dator mouse. Dator means computer. Mouse means mouse. So it's obviously that one. Yes. It's not. Flutter mouse. No. And flutter mouse. Flutter mouse, basically. <laughs> this is. Yeah. I don't know how fun this is. I'm. Yelm. It almost sounds like the English word for this. Elm, or helmet. So is it's the nah, that's a Ah Gombrun. Ah Gombrun. Her pronunciation is really funny. It's Ögonbryn. Ögon means eye and Brun means brow. I think you've seen a video when I'm talking about eyebrows before. Because I have I I there I have yeah. So eyebrows is here. <laughs> gård. En gård. Uh a yard a yard. Yard, a lawn, or yard. Yes. A farm. It could also be a farm, so yes. Thumbs up. Fingeravtryck. Fingeravtryck, you could pretty much guess from this being finger. Well, this is print. Or not like, not print, but yeah, it's a, like a stamp. It's a finger stamp. Yes. Shoes. No, no, that's not how you pronounce that. Shoes. She says sus, but that's a shis, shis, and that's when you kiss. Almost spelled the Sudgummi. same. Sudgummi. Sudgummi. That's an eraser. Do so you erase and then rubber? Eraser rubber. Yes, a new word in English. Isbari. Ah, uh, that's really easy to figure out here. It's not a boat. It's not a whatever that. What's that? I don't even. I don't even know what that is. That's a crane of water. That's an iceberg. Yes. He's back. Skateboard. <laughs> oh, I... Oh, what could this be? I have no clue. <laughs> it's a... T no, it's a skateboard. Heft. Heft. Yes, this could be tricky if you don't know Swedish. Heft means hip. Heft. The more you know. Människor. I probably should... Higher up the stakes the next time and do it on like Danish or something else because you have the possibility here to go uh, Several languages actually it might do Languages I don't know at all. That would be funny though. Okay, let's continue. Let's do three more Menikur. Menikur means Humans or people basically Russians aren't people though. Those people are robots <laughs> I'm just kidding at this. Yeah, I live all no, I don't <laughs> Foot. This is one of the words that kind of sounds like the English word for it. Uh, you add an extra O, I guess. Foot. So, foot. Slav. Yeah, this is also, <laughs> you could almost uh, guess what this is. A slave. Slav. It's pronounced Slav. Ekolon. And the final one. And this could be tricky. At Ekolon. It's actually this one. I think it's acorn. What was it in English? I think it's acorn. Uh, Ek is the tree where this comes from. I can't remember the name in English right now. But uh, then you have this part, which I will not translate for you because that's a part of the. P okay. <clears throat>
really good quiz. Oh, a bit too easy for me, I guess, but hopefully you learned some words today. Next time, I think I'll try another language. Hmm. Until the next time I see you and your pretty face, I hope you have a splendid day.